what's up welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time since i vlogged i apologize i'm sorry i am planning vlogs for the near future so we're looking forward to those those should be fun um but today we have a few things planned it's going to be a kind of busy video kind of chaotic possibly um so first off we're going to be riding this guy over here he just finished eating his food um so we're gonna ride him hopefully that'll go well hopefully he doesn't kill me like we can see it in his eyes he's like i want to try and kill mom today um but after that we're gonna ride miss angel over there and she's gonna be a perfect little baby and pd's getting the day off another thing after that After that, we're going to clean all of my style pads. I just got this one like two days ago and it hasn't been written in yet, so it won't need to be washed yet. But we're gonna be cleaning off all of my style pads and bell boots and my jumping boots, sports, sport boots, all that stuff. So it's pretty much just gonna be like a barn chores vlog, barn chores plus riding the horses, all of the usual stuff pretty much. But it should be exciting, so let's get into it. cupcakes already i'm going to put my boots and helmet on i need to buy like a boot and helmet bag so i literally keep my boots in oh i have my water bottle in here i literally keep my boots in the box that i bought them in <laughs> um something i do something i do every time before i ride is I know a lot of Christian riders do this, but like I say a prayer every time before I get on any horse that I will be safe and not like get seriously injured. Yeah, that's what it's just something I like to do. Here's Mr. Cupcake looking all, oh, your forelock is not looking, looking the best right now. I need to fix all of that, but here's Mr. Cupcake in his new saddle pad. It's kind of scrunched up right here. I'll fix that in a second. But here's his new saddle pad. It actually looks like, I didn't think it was gonna look that good on him. Like, I think it's gonna look really good on Cream, but it looks way better on him than I thought it would. Now we're on Mr. Cupcakes. Is it too we're just riding down to the arena now. He knows the drill. He's super good for me. Whenever we go down here, Sometimes he does like to get a little spunky, but hopefully 
Oh, have a great ride. Good boy, cupcake. Good boy. Last time I lunged cupcake down here, I did not feel like picking up all the barrels and jumps and, or I didn't feel like picking up all the barrels and pulls. And there's a random step stool there. And so yeah, I'm gonna have to get off and fix all of those. But, so yeah, this is like what I see when I'm riding. And oh, good boy. today because I don't want him to get too excited and do anything stupid. Come on, move forward. So yeah, we're gonna be nice and calm today. Okay. We're gonna walk around because Cupcake has problems with walking around when he sees a jump. As you can tell. Good boy. Good boy. See, we get very excited whenever we see these jump. We are getting very excited. when he has a jump set up so he can see a jump and also know that yeah as you can see like when we start jumping it's hard for him to take a walk break in between he doesn't like it he just wants to keep jumping and so 
What I'm trying to do now is only go over a couple jumps, then walk him around in circles around it. Because the farther I go away from it, the more excited he's going to get. Because he thinks he's going to like get the build up for a jump. So as he realizes that I can walk calmly, walk calmly around a jump, we'll start going farther out. Now that he's being calm again, on getting him like his position over the jump or anything. I just am working on the coming into the jump. That's all I'm caring about today. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Spicy going into the jump, so we're going to circle. strides in there. Good boy. But that's okay. I'm not as worried about the cantering into it. I'm just more worried about him zooming off from the start, you know? He knows when he's, done, when he's done good. And he'll be better for me usually once he starts doing good. He knows it. He likes to show it. He just Good boy. 
boy. Okay. Good boy. That was good. We're going to end on that one. Good boy. And he's building up a big spot now, so we're going to get off of him. Here in a second. So we're just going to stick to doing small jumps as much as I know that we like can do bigger jumps. I don't want to push it, especially with the problem that he has. Like even though his problem is getting better and it's like slowly, slowly, slowly starting to go away. We don't want to like have any, we don't want to do anything that could possibly ruin some of our progress, which knowing like doing bigger jumps, you know that's going to make them more rusty and mm -hmm. to the fences. So those are my reasons for doing small jumps, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know that just because people don't know. Like, literally him coming into the jumps, I just looked back at the videos, and there is a huge improvement. I'll probably put, like, one of the videos from, like, a couple weeks ago, like, last week or two weeks ago of us jumping, just for, like, comparison. And I know, like, every single one of you guys will be able to tell that he is so much calmer and slower and listening to me so much better than however many times that was ago. Like, three times ago, two times ago all because of the pull work we've been doing and the like slow work we've been doing the groundwork and especially the cross rail the cross rail is literally like my favorite thing to do on him when he's being rushy oh my god we're gonna walk him back up the the giant hill is literally takes forever to walk up back to the barn so yeah we'll go up there and then we're going to get on cream I'm not putting my cover on my saddle because um I'm literally just gonna use it on cream again here in a second. So, uh, I'm just gonna assume no, though, because cream's gonna lick my saddle actually. Okay, so now we're going to take Mr. Fancy Pants up to the hose and give him a bath. Or actually, not a bath, we're just gonna rinse him down. And I have my nasty sweat scraper because we don't wanna leave the wa excess water on him. Look at the pony being a good boy. I gotta turn on the hose. Um, trying to find a spot to set up my phone, so bear with me.
I forgot that I ride cream and spurs. While she's... She's learning more to learn off leg pressure. But, like, she knows how to move off of leg pressure. Like, she's one of those horses, like, this is how Petey used to be. Petey used to not listen. Unless you have spurs. And I know that's, like, how, like, every lesson horse is. But that's how Cream is now. But then I've trained Petey to where he doesn't eat spurs anymore. So that's what my goal is with Cream. I mean, I'm not against spurs. I know there's a lot of people that are against spurs. I'm not in any way against spurs. to me like you're literally tearing apart your horse's belly because I'm not I'm literally not even using my spurs most of the time like I'll be using my calves too and just like leg pressure like people I feel like people just assume that when you ride with spurs you're just like only using your spur and constantly stabbing your horse with your spurs but that's not how it goes my guy my spurs are on now it is time to go get on cream. Y'all, look at how cute she looks. Ignore that the style pad is rolled up. I'm gonna fix it. Look how cute she looks. She's gonna follow me now. Look at that pretty girl. Okay, so now we're on cream, riding down to the arena. You can see how long her strides are. It's hilarious. I look so tiny.
We're gonna pick up the camera. Yes, I am gonna leave those jumps there. Cream will, cream will knock them down for me when I put her back in the face. Oh, come on, come on, I did it. Hi boys, hi boys. Look how clean Cupcake looks after his bath. It wasn't even a bath, it was just a hose down. Are you saying hi to your little sister? Aw. The boys decided to follow us. We're at the barn now. all of the horses some hay. We're getting, or we have like, I think like 30 round bales right now, but we're gonna start feeding them round bales in October to make it last throughout the entire winter. So we're feeding them square bales right now. Now it is time to clean all of my cell pads. They're nasty. Okay, so I'm cleaning my half pad because my half pad is atrocious. And then I'm gonna clean my papaya one too because that one is really nasty. And then the peacock. This one is actually fairly clean. I've only ridden in this one a few times. So I don't think I'm gonna wash that one yet. So I'm not gonna wash that one or the hunter green. I just have this one laying out here so it can dry out. And we're gonna wash my girth also because yeah, I think like, no thank you. So. We're gonna go up to the hose now. Okay. Ow, that hurt really bad. I'm gonna turn this on super high. And we're gonna do one pad at a time because. I just wanna do one pad at a time. I just set everything on the balcony and I'm gonna leave it overnight so it can dry. They already look a lot cleaner, but yeah. So that is all I'm gonna do today actually because it's starting to get dark and I'm starving to death. I wanna go eat something and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.